Good morning, everybody. This is Big Chuck, and um, I've got a very familiar voice to Oniana joining me this morning for a little chat. And she is the ever youthful and ever lovely Miss Leslie Ann from ZOZ. Hi, Leslie Ann. <laughs> Good morning, Chuck. What an intro. Well, you know what happened, Leslie Ann, the other day? my I was looking at my uh, little FCC card that we get that when we become... Bro- no, nobody has to do that anymore. <laughs> right. but, but back in the day, we had to get a license and all that stuff. And it said July 7th. Uh, 1989 was when I got my card. How about so that? this July 7th, I passed my 27th year of radio going into my 28th year of radio. And I mentioned it to you and you said, gosh, how many years have I been doing it? And you've been doing it for uh, 20, for another 26 years. And I've got 27 years. Uh, we've got 53 years in local radio between the two of us. And I think we should celebrate. <laughs> I think we should too. It's amazing, 50, isn't it? You started at ZOZ and you're still at ZOZ. Yeah, I amazing. started at DOS and I'm still at DOS. It's it, funny. It's amazing, you know, because so many people, oh yeah, I worked 15 years in Maine and then I worked nine years in Georgia and two years I took off and then... It, you started at ZOZ, and you're still there in the and morning, I and I started at DOS, and I'm still there. Now, Leslie Ann, of course, my colleague, you've heard me refer to her really, literally, every year since I've been here. <laughs> it's uh, been a long time, hasn't it? Do you think I've changed the way I look? I would have to say <laughs> barely, although I think when I started working with you, you might have had bigger glasses. <laughs> And your hair was definitely longer. It had curliness to yeah, it. You yeah. had longer hair. Yeah. Not so gray. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and yours was wavy. Yours now is waving oh, goodbye. Uh, but you look as youthful and as young as you did the first time I saw you 25 years well, ago. Well, bless you. <laughs> and uh, honestly, when you stop and think about this, you and I have been coming in the door to work together for longer than a lot of marriages. Yeah, that's true. And uh, we always say good morning to each other. You've popped on my show a number of times. I've popped on your show a number of times. We've done joint remotes. We've uh, we've seen our children grow up. Grow up together, and, and, right now. Yeah, it's and it's just been a, an amazing ride. Um, how things have changed in radio, Leslie. Oh, you know, it's funny you bring that up because I was just thinking about that. I started out in radio yeah. when technology was really starting to change yeah and i was still playing records at that time when i began and i was also playing something that most people would think of as an eight track cassette we called them carts Mm -hmm. so those were the two technologies satellite radio was coming into play at that time too so that was starting to be uh, a new thing in radio then shortly thereafter CDs, compact discs, and became thought, all the rage. We thought that was the bee's knee. Oh, we sure uh, did. CD was about as the quality was far superior. It was high tech yeah. to play a CD, and you could easily get to the song that you wanted to get oh. to. You didn't have to put the record on the needle and hope that it wasn't going to skip. Sque- yeah. up and <laughs> and when I started uh, at Ten Market Street in the front window. Uh, where our station by the way Leslie uh, my record player is right over your head I, I still, <laughs> have, still have those. see it on the left up there I have the yeah. turntable and down there I have 200 record yeah. albums with nothing no, nothing to play them on well the irony is that records now are out that's what they say I think they're out selling CDs CDs are kind of on the way out yeah and young people like college age are loving records. You know what, though? Uh, back in the day when you and I started, um, yes, we did play those carted eight tracks. Yes, we did put needles on turntables and on records and put a penny on it to make it cut through the dust. Uh, <laughs> but how about, I remember I remember playing cassettes on the air. I mean, we used to get our shows in, our ag radio stuff, and yes. all that came on a cassette. And you couldn't cue that thing up oh, to save horrible. your neck. Yeah. Was I was horrible. not sad when the cassettes went out the window. Me either. Yeah, I do kind of miss the record, so that was, and you have to spin it backwards to cue it up and all yeah. that. That was a lot of fun. And today, if people, you know, people come in, you and I, we interview a hundred guests a month in here. They look around. It's like where, where is everything? And it's like we play the it's entire on a computer. show off of basically a laptop. Yes. Yeah, it's uh, all computerized now. Although 
I know that you on your Thursday night oldie show I will play it. CDs. I do. And I will put in CDs here and there that are not in the regular music yeah, library. Sure. It's been fun over the years though. Look oh, at the opportunity we've had to be immersed in local radio. First of all, we have been we have interviewed everybody. <laughs> Just if we about. haven't interviewed everybody by now, I don't know who else we have missed. <laughs> and we have been part of the high points in, in Oneana, the low points in Oneana, the tragedies, the deaths, the fires, the floods. Oh, yeah. The, the, you know, Ricky Parisian. I'm thinking of that. I'm thinking of the floods that devastated our area. And we've also been part of, you know, so many wonderful things, parades and for, hometown yeah. Fourth of July selling 3D glasses. That's right. And we've all of we've that. been a part of a lot of we fun have, things over the have. years. And one of the things that stood out in my mind as as a feel good moment for us was when we raised money. It was thousands, thousands. of dollars for the United Way to help people recover from the flooding. I think thousands. that was 2006. Thousands wasn't it? and thousands and thousands of dollars in an all day radiothon. It was amazing. Yeah, it was. It was amazing. It really, really was. And I remember one thing. I was on a vacation in Texas when the first terrorism act happened, and that was the Oklahoma City bombing. And I couldn't wait to get home because everybody in America was shocked. We got home. Jan was the owner at the time, Jan Latham. We loved her. And uh, she said, let's do something. Everybody wants to do something. Come up with an idea. Let's go, Chuck. And we did the mile-long banner of love down on Main Street. And Man. everybody came to Main Street. And we had a mile-long computer paper, and everybody wrote notes on it. I remember that. You remember that. that. We did a broadcast yeah. there. And I remember Mary Drago bringing her little kids down from Center Street. And they stood and they sang, Imagine. And Jim, I remember Jim Seward crying like a baby, yeah. watching it. How can you not? And we took that banner, and, and we sent it to to uh, Oklahoma, and they wrapped it around a firehouse. I mean, these are things that we do. Yeah. It's giving me chills we do thinking it routinely, about those things. You know, you'll come in here and say, there's something going on. As little as a lost pet. How many lost pets have we found? <laughs> you know, Chuck, it's heartbreaking when somebody calls, and they're always upset when their pet accidentally gets out. You know, it happens. And it's so wonderful to announce to the listeners, oh, little Scooby is back with yeah. his owner, you know. You know, the people will never know. You know, I've had people say to me over the years, oh, yeah, you got another lost dog. That's the lost dog. That's the lost dog station. I have to tell you, and you will agree with me, when we pick up the phone at 615 and there's a nine-year-old girl whose doggy has slipped the, lo the collar and oh, she's yeah. in tears, it's, you know, uh, that's one of our favorite things to do. Yes. It really is. Because if you think about it, that pet is a we member of that family. Yeah, we have pets, so sure. sure. So, and snow days. How about a snow day, <laughs> Leslie? We hate them. We Everybody do. else loves them, we and I always em. try to keep that in mind when I'm announcing the snow days because we take I know very the kids importantly. are jumping for yeah, joy. Yeah, and it's very important. We try and get it out as accurate and as fast as possible. Those are days people have no idea what yeah, goes on tough. in here. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so anyway, I, I know you're busy, but I wanted to drag you in, and I want to tell you, and I mean this, Leslie, it is a pleasure to see you every morning you are an absolute total professional <laughs> you really really are and i have enjoyed working with you now for a total between the two of us of 53 years let's make it 60 chuck i don't want to i'm <laughs> done with you no well it has been a pleasure all these years <laughs> we still have fun yeah we do with what we're doing you we know do. and that's saying a lot and we and i think the thing is is that you and i both love to do what we do communicate yeah and we, we love to share our goofy stories and information with the listeners out there yeah because it's kind of like being part of a big family i miss miranda though yeah she was fun leslie used to do voices on her <laughs> station uh and she had a character named miranda who i think you modeled after she was Cher. the secretary yes of after fran drescher or after fran drescher yes, the nanny right the, the nanny so it give was, me a little something she, in it her. was split. give me a little something in her right now it was split she talked like this and she was really crazy you know so she had this voice that yeah. was super irritating yeah. so you either loved her or yeah. you hated her and people actually thought there was a second person in the so studio well, they, with did. You. they yeah. wanted to come meet her leslie congratulations on, on on being here as long as you have been and i wish you much much more and she honestly has not changed you have not changed 
I'm going to hold still on the biggest to those pain words. In the no, you still look <laughs> the same as you did. And uh, so anyway, yeah, Leslie and I, 53 years on local radio between wow. the two of us, and uh, we're still we're still here. We're still alive and kicking. Okay, Leslie, thank you so much. I am Thanks, Big Chuck. Chuck. Stay with me. I'll be right back.